Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, so let's just dive in. And let's start off with, real quick, just taking a look at the Customers tab over on Ripple's website. So, here is where... You can see most of the leading organizations out there utilizing RippleNet. Um, and also, they do have exposure to XRP. Now, are all of them utilizing XRP right now? Not necessarily due to regulatory uncertainty. Um, you can see some of these statistics that they have achieved with some other customers. And you can also hear from the customers um, themselves as well. They have a whole bunch of videos down here from a few of their partners. Um, one that I've always told you guys to pay attention to is Modular because they are changing the entire payments landscape in the UK with them. And uh, remember that the UK is actually utilizing Modular and Ripple as two partners for um, the Digital Pound Foundation. Now, is the Digital Pound Foundation 100% certain to be? utilized not necessarily they're they're more of a think tank uh company but i still believe that they will be vital in the next evolution of the digital pound and also modernizing the uk's payment rails but there's so many other ones on here as you guys do see you guys could look at all of these and you know it's only a matter of time before a lot more expansions uh happen and one thing that i would love to know is just the growth of ripple recently i mean like you can look at all of the customer use cases over here some of these are the largest banks out there i'm sure that you you guys um, have seen a lot of these banks in the past. Santander is one of the biggest ones over here. Navadi is also another one. But nonetheless, the reason why I bring this up and the reason why I talk about it is just think about how many other major partnerships that are there are out there waiting on the sidelines uh, for Ripple to not only go live with, but also you know to expand with. And the only thing stopping them is the SEC. And it's crazy because at some point in time when we do get that rolling in the sec case in favor of ripple because i have no doubt i've told you guys i have no doubt that ripple will win um it's going to be too late it seriously is going to be too late so at this moment in time as we see the prices in the market kind of just trailing and you know things have started to move quite a bit xrp is still around like the 40 cent zone I'm waiting to see if we get that bottom retest at around like 32 cents to 35 cents, possibly even go lower. I'm waiting with capital on the sidelines, but I have been accumulating that 35 cent range. And I've been very transparent on that because I do believe that once we do see a major update in the case, it is going to be too late to buy XRP because the price, the FOMO, the, I mean, like there's going to be so much reliance on that case it's going to be it's going to change everything now while we do look at the case while we are focused on the sec in the u.s uh movement i want to also take you guys over here to crypto aries tweet recently and this is germany's investment firm token to us uh investment ag makes a sizable investment in a ripple spv citing the xrp cryptocurrency contained in the xrp ledger is used as the value transfer medium for the conversion and transfer of foreign currencies between counterparties in ripple net and here you guys have an investment in the future global payment network and uh, you can see everything around this you know what's interesting about this that i would love for all of you to pay attention to is what's happening outside the u.s what is going on well we are seeing every single major foreign nation moving extremely fast on crypto regulation crypto adoption crypto plans they are so bullish on crypto to the point where they want to become a hub for crypto innovation and what is the u.s doing catering to the big bankers catering to the ones pulling the strings that you know want to hold on for dear life for their for their control of this traditional financial system it's absolutely ridiculous. And what do you see over here from Digital Asset Investor? Our government should be whining and dining companies like Ripple to get them to stay in the U.S. to provide jobs and add to the economy. Instead, Gary Gensler is trying to run them offshore. Who does this guy really work for? Maybe someone should ask Soros. And here you guys have from Blockworks. Crypto companies seeking to go public in the U.S., are finding the SEC review process increasingly lengthy, sometimes anchored in close to 100 questions. This is absolutely ridiculous. 
I'm telling you guys right now, as we focus on the bigger picture around what the SEC is doing, they are pushing out innovation, pushing out incredible opportunities in the U.S. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now, the future around the space, the future of crypto is going to show you exactly why the SEC wants to stop crypto. They want to stop these companies because they are challenging the traditional system players. They are challenging the major elites that control everyday financial payments, everyday financial processes. They are eating up the entire fee base of those payments. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, we're coming for their wallets. We are coming for those fees. And that's a big deal. That's a deal that provides a, a, a target on your back. And that is exactly why a lot of these companies like Ripple are being focused on. They're being targeted. And they are also be, being manipulated from the SEC. The 100 questions are designed to help self-expose where the company's weaknesses are to make suing them easier. See Hester Pierce comments and also Library Com comments. Bottom line, do not answer SEC questionnaire. Shout out to SB Crypto Art 1. Yeah, I honestly do think that we are, like, this entire industry is being manipulated by the SEC. And we do see over here from uh, Xpunk DS. FinCEN doesn't consider XRP as security. The DOJ doesn't consider XRP as a, uh, as a security. The CFTC doesn't consider XRP as a security. Only the SEC under Gary Gensler considers XRP a security. Can you see where the raw is? I'm telling you, when we take a look at the SEC, it's not just Gary Gensler. It's been the SEC this entire time. We need to abolish the SEC. They have done absolutely nothing good for the retail sector. We have our government parading the SEC around as if they are some incredible agency protecting you and me. They are not. They are not protecting anyone. At all. I'm telling you guys right now, we need to make a stand against the SEC. Now, also, we do see over here, from Eleanor Tourette. Isn't this exactly what Ripple does? Remember what I just talked about with China creating that backed blockchain project that is trying to challenge Swift? In fact, this could possibly even kill Swift. A lot of people believe that this is going to be the XRP replacement or the Ripple net replacement. And we actually have a response from Crypto Law that opens up a, a wide discussion. I want to ask all of you in the comments, do you believe that what China is creating is a threat to what Ripple has done with XRP? Because in my opinion, absolutely not. We just hear not necessarily. First question, how can a true blockchain exist in China? It can't. It can't. Listen, there's no decentralization in China. The digital yuan is not a cryptocurrency nor does it operate on a blockchain it's a black box closed ledger network china wants the benefits of digital networks without any privacy any blockchain based service network will exist merely to ensure no actual blockchain technology can compete with the digital yuan and the networks being built to support it in china and the region and yes if you guys go and read this uh, breakdown from let's start with what china's digital currency is not uh, this is a great breakdown of it Again, I want you guys to realize that as we really kind of focus on what Ripple has done with, uh, you know, really utilizing the XRP ledger, utilizing XRP, they have seriously done something incredible because the XRP ledger is still 100% decentralized. RippleNet sourcing XRP for liquidity, for on-demand liquidity, and also them utilizing XRP and building out a process where the XRP ledger could be utilized for CBDC issuance is huge it's still 100 percent decentralized 100 percent secure and it is one of the most incredible ledger technologies that we have in the space yes there's many you know efficient ledgers in the space uh we talk about hedera we talk about algorand uh there's so many other ones as well casper xdc xlm um but at the end of the day xrp the xrp ledger 
has had the longest runtime, the longest time for it to be proven in its area of expertise. And with that, I don't believe that this is going to replace XRP. I've been seeing a lot of uh, YouTube videos popping up saying XRP has been replaced or was XRP just replaced? No, no, we, we, we've seen this time and time again in the past too, going all the way back to like 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. And we are still going to see it today. We're going to continue to see it because again, there's going to be so many things like this being created. None of them are as efficient. None of them are on the same level as what Ripple has done with RippleNet with XRP. Now, also talking about the SEC, talking about things happening around the SEC, um, it looks like the SEC is now forcing individuals to fight back against Ripple. From James K. Filan, we do see investment banker declarant files a response to Ripple's opposition to the motion by investment banker declarant to shield from public view his name, position, and employer. It's absolutely incredible to see how despicable the SEC is. I'm telling you, they are forcing individuals now against their will to fight back against Ripple. This is absolutely disgusting from a government agency. Now do you guys realize what is at stake here? We are seeing a government agency utilize their power, their position, to now force individuals into a position where they don't even want to be. This is disgusting, to say the least. This is why we need to win. And in my opinion, listen, Ripple has been extremely confident since day one. Chris and Brad Garlinghouse had the option to settle separately. They are extremely confident. I have no doubt. I have no doubt at all. Listen, go look at the facts. The SEC is the only government agency that still believes that XRP is a security. The SEC is the only agency around the world that is fighting back against crypto as hard as they are. Every other nation trying to, trying to find some sort of innovate, innovative way to put up guardrails so that they could utilize this technology. And in the U.S., the SEC doesn't even want to touch this technology. And I asked the question, what the hell is going on? At one point in time, the SEC, or, or I shouldn't even say the SEC, the U.S. as a whole used to embrace innovation now we want to get rid of it just to benefit the elite players around the financial traditional system and with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below uh so it's up to you all have a beautiful day beautiful night wherever you guys are on this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys